Hey everyone, it's Holly. Uh, welcome to the next tutorial in the general Java game development tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be improving on the state manager that we made. Uh, last time when we did it, the graphics were a bit glitchy and uh, the code was a bit inefficient. So what we're going to do today is we're going to update this in a way so that state is going to extend uh, something called uh, canvas and then what that's going to do it means instead of uh, doing what we did last time where was it uh, render current state and we draw the screen uh, it we actually won't need any of this all we'll need to do is add the canvas to the to the main J frame and then when we don't want that state anymore we'll remove it so let's just begin uh, in our state class the first thing I'm going to want to do is right extends canvas and then import that uh, so that's the first step done and now what we're actually going to do is uh, let's find our render method here we go in our render method we're going to make some space because we're going to be working in it today uh, what we're first thing we're going to do is make a buffer strategy a uh, buffer strategy is basically uh, creating something like double buffering or triple buffering. Uh, so we write buffer strategy B and we can say first import buffer strategy and then we can say it's equal to get buffer strategy and that's a built-in method from uh, canvas so that's fine we can use this method. Uh, now the first time render runs uh, get buffer strategy is going to return null so what we need to do is we need to say if B equals null we need to create the buffer strategy and this is also a built-in canvas method create buffer strategy uh, we're gonna do three buffers on this one just to make it really clear and smooth and then once it's done we can return the method and that return is just in case this didn't work uh, in which case it will return it will stop the method and when it starts again uh, it's gonna get the buffer strategy again it's gonna try and create one again uh, and you'll know you have an error somewhere if the image never shows up. Uh, so anyway, the next thing we're going to do is make a graphics object called G. And this is going to be equal to, uh, after we import graphics, it's going to be equal to B, which is the buff strategy, uh, and get draw graphics. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to, if you remember last time, we drew our graphics. We have graphics 2D G here. And we draw our graphics to a buffered image which is effectively the screen now all we have to do with this buffered image once we've drawn stuff to it is show it to the user on the screen so we're going to do that with the buffer strategy we can say g dot draw image and then we can say screen uh, we'll place it at zero zero and then this can be the image observer as well uh, so once we've drawn that image to the screen we can dispose of the graphics because just to clear up memory uh, and then we most important part is to call the buff strategy and say show to show the drawing that we've done so that's our render method pretty much done right there uh, what we're going to need to do now is kind of optimize everything else so now that we've got the render method if we come back to our menu state which was our example state and we said uh, this is the menu state um, what we Oh, that's reminded me of another thing. We're going to rename this uh, get graphics 2 d because get graphics is actually a canvas method and it's not gonna, and we wanna create our own method. We're not overriding the canvas one. So get graphics 2 d and then back in menu state, change that to get graphics 2 d uh, So this render method, once we've drawn stuff to our screen, what we want to do is we want to call super, which is the super class, which is state, and we've just done that whole render method. What we need to do now is make sure all of this happens, and we do that by saying super dot render, and that's done right there. So we can just leave that like that. Um, so now that uh, that's done, we can draw stuff. As long as remember to always call that super method we can come back to the state manager and we don't need any of this for the uh, render current state uh, all we have to do for the render current state is um, actually we don't need either of these the render um, we don't need the render current state we'll keep the update current state 
Um, actually, we don't need update current state either because if we go back to our state class, uh, we actually make a new thread and call update and render uh, within that. So all we actually need to do is make sure that this canvas is added to our main JFrame. So what we do to do that is in state manager, in the constructor, we can specify a JFrame parameter called J and we will import that and then all we have to say is uh, we'll make actually make a separate one up here private jframe uh, we'll call it game frame uh, we can then say first thing game frame equals j so now that we have that set up um, let's come back in here uh, actually, we'll do that in a sec so I can explain how everything works again. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to switch between states. We need to make sure that the can we need to make sure that the state, which is in the form of a canvas, is added to the s the main J frame. So we can say um, start current state, stop current state. When we set the current state, uh, we need to say. Um, actually in the start current state, yeah okay, we'll do it like this. Uh, in the start current state we're gonna say once we've uh, called the start method we can say, or actually we'll do, we'll add it before we start it just to avoid any errors. We'll say game frame dot add and then we can say states dot get current state uh, dot actually no that's fine because our current state our current state is in wait if I come up here uh, we have an array list of the state class and the state extends canvas so we can add it to our jframe and similarly for the stop current state we want to say game frame dot remove component and then we can say uh, states dot get current state like so um, yeah so that should work fine if we come back into our main method now I'll show you how this works uh, let's delete everything we've done so far um, uh, delete paint component and delete double buffering we've done uh, so this is a J frame basically we have a state manager class here and then all we have to do is in our initialize method we would say sm state manager up here equals new state manager it takes this as a parameter because this is a j frame and then we could say sm dot set current state and if you remember from last time we give it a string to represent the state and menu state is the only one we have which is an example one so we're gonna start the menu state by calling the name menu state and then we can say sm dot start current state and is going to add the canvas to uh, the J frame so let's have a look if this work um, okay something went wrong let's just check I'll pause it while I check. oh okay um, what I've done is in for this buffered image screen I actually put width and height which is not the variables that we set there uh, built-in JFrame variables. We need to get the game width and the game height. Uh, so just add that in there. Game width, game height, and we also need to draw the buffered image at the size of that as well. So just after the zero zero, we say main dot game width, and then main dot game height, and then once we've drawn that to the correct sizes, uh, we can run this again. And hopefully there we go uh, we have just a box and I've written this is the menu state that was just the example uh, I did here I just drew that using this and you can see uh, the use of the buffer strategy if we comment this out and then we play 
you'll see that nothing is appearing. So uh, the buffer strategy has effectively double buffered our screen. Uh, so uh, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, next tutorial, we'll be doing more on this and also input handling, sort of how to switch, how, an, how a user would switch between states if they sort of got to a new level or whatever, and if they click start game on a menu, stuff like that. Uh, so hopefully you're enjoying this. I think this is a pretty cool thing f in terms of game making. Uh, just it's a very efficient way to do to do this kind of thing. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you next.